Assalamu alaikum and good morning everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. All right, got an unboxing for you here today with the Sony a7 III. It's kind of exciting because this is, a, this is a big time camera. People were really waiting for this. I myself was one of them. I really wanted to check it out. There was a lot of cool things about it. One of them being the price point for all the features and the options that come with this camera. The price point really had people looking at it, you know? So anyhow, I'm not gonna go into details because there's a lot of cool vlogs out there giving you a breakdown of all the details, but I'm gonna give you a general idea and what I think of the a7R3, of the a7 III. Now we're gonna go out and shoot with the a7 III, we're gonna go on some photo missions and we're gonna see what it's all about. We're gonna test out the video and test out the photography. But right now, all we wanna do is unbox it. Let's see what comes in the box. Okay, let's open the box. Let's see what's inside this box. You know what, before we open it real quick, let's just look at what options it comes with. All right, so it's a 35 millimeter full frame, 24.2 megapixel camera. ISO is 100 to 51,200. It shoots at 10, 10 frames per second with a 693 AF point phase detection. Pretty cool. Pretty cool options. Eye autofocus, silent shooting. The silent shooting and the eye, auto, eye autofocus from what I've seen so far is amazing. All right, five axis steady shot. Dual slots, dual slots are really important for the SD cards. That is very, very important, actually. Touch focus, touch focus was really good on the A7R3. Let's see if it's good on the A7 III. And uh, USB 3.1 with a USB-C. Cool stuff, all good stuff. All right, let's look inside. So this is the A7 III. Give you a close-up look on it, at it. There you go, that's the a7 III. Okay, so first thing I like to do is pull out the screen. Let's see if it flips up. Doesn't flip up. Okay, kind of knew that already to be honest with you. Sony, I love your stuff, but we need a flip up. We need a screen that flips up or flips out. It just helps with vlogging. Uh, that's kind of the thing right now. So a lot of companies are doing that and I'm hoping that we can get on and Sony can get on board with that. It is really a cool thing. But in all honesty, I've been shooting with Sony cameras and vlogging with Sony cameras for a long while now and I kind of got used to it. So you kind of adapt, I guess. So it's no longer a major issue, but it would be nice to one day open up one of the new cool cameras and have the screen either flip out this way, this way or that way. Okay, anyhow, so looking at it real quick, it feels like a real heavy duty camera. Dual slots as promised, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's look at the battery. Oh, battery's not inside. This is nice. Here's why it's nice. This is a big battery. So I'm gonna test to see how long this battery lasts because having a big battery is very, very important, especially if you're shooting video. And if you're doing photography for a long period of time, like I do sometimes when I go on my photo missions in the desert or if I go to the mountains, this is very, very important. Okay, so I'm really happy about this. This is really cool. And I mean, everything else is pretty, pretty straightforward. So it's similar, to, it's a very similar body to the A9 and the A7R3 with a, a few different options, a few different features, of course. And yeah, so it's really excited. I'm really excited to go test it out. So let's go do that. Okay guys, we're at the Hat the Dam and we're on a photo mission trying to capture this area with the A7 III. We did an unboxing a little while ago, you guys saw that, and now we're out between the mountains and the dam shooting the water, so it is pretty cool. All right, so when I first came down here, the first option that I used on it is I've actually been vlogging with this camera, so a lot of the video footage was recorded on the A7 III. Now the cool thing is actually when I'm, when I'm, when I'm using the A7 III, 
the focus system on it is good. However, when I use the Zeiss lens, I'm, I don't know if it's just because of the Zeiss lens or what, I noticed that there was a little bit of slowness in the, in the focusing and the refocusing. But uh, that's the only issue that I had with it. But when I put the when I put a native Sony lens, like for example, like a the G Master sixteen thirty five, it just it focuses pretty fast. So there was no problem there. This is with the video recording. So uh, the video on it is amazing. It records in four K. We've discussed the options already, discussed the features. So it's been pretty good. And uh, right now we're just doing some photography. And honestly, this camera for photos is amazing. Full frame, laying out for a shot, and with the high dynamic range, it's amazing. All right, so I'm gonna keep taking some photos here. Let's see what else we get with it. Okay, guys, we were just at the mountains in Hatta, and now we're here at the, at the release of the Sony a7 III. Let's go check out some of the products that they have here. <laughs> Guys, I'm here with Hussein El Hugrafi. Hugrafi. I like to say Hugrafi because he's a very huggable guy. This guy is a Sony ambassador. But I got a few questions for Hussein because I really liked his presentation. So, first of all, what do you think of the A7 III? It's a very clean camera. I mean, I shoot with the A7R. It's a heavy sensor. Okay. It's great for what I do, but for overall photography, travel, low light and all of that, uh -huh. I think A7 III is my first choice for a number of reasons. I mean, it's cleaner okay. for low light. Uh -huh. Secondly, it's um, the files are much smaller for general usage. So well, you don't need... Because it's 25, was it 25 or 24 megapixels? Yeah, 24, megapixel? exactly. 24 you megapixel. don't need that for general applications. Okay. I mean, if you have the extra money, then... I mean, well, what do you say to the people that say, oh, you know, it has less megapixels. I don't know if I want to go for that. You know, what do you say to them? Because that, that, that's like, you know, that's something in the market. Everyone's scared to go for the lower megapixels when honestly in video, it's actually better for performance wise. But in photography as well, I mean, I've been using it honestly. And I, I took some amazing shots between the mountains, Hatta and even in Dubai right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I didn't notice, honestly, I didn't notice anything. The photos, everything looked amazing. High dynamic range is still there. You know, exactly. so tell exactly. us a little bit about the that. The dynamic range is almost, I mean, it's great as well. So that's not a, not a minus at all. I mean, if you, you're you a heavy cropper, you crop all the time, then by all means, you know, go for the highest megapixel. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't crop, you don't enlarge. Yeah. There's no need to go beyond that. Really. And, and obviously the price difference is exactly. incredible, right? Exactly. So so you use a, uh, you the use a third, uh, okay, yeah, the metal one. Okay, yeah. yeah. And it, it adapted okay? It's just fine. So the, you said it gave you some issues. Was there a delay or something? Uh, it's or? just uh, possibly the focus I felt could have been a little bit better. Okay. And But I'm not sure if there's something specific to the lens itself. I mean, with the combination or the camera, but it was not a big deal. But okay. I didn't feel it was sort of, you know, spot on all the time. Okay. What is your main focus? What is your main field for photography? This is um, so the world knows. Yeah, architecture. Architecture. Yeah, yeah I can oh, look man. at the building for all hour. Yeah, all hour. I love that. Yeah. I love that's why you had all those cool windows and all these things. Guys, listen, you got if you want to check this guy's profile out it is what's your handle hoography hoography so instagram i'm gonna put his handle right here in front of his chest right here so you guys can check him out all right and then uh hey man thanks for spending time with us really appreciate it okay guys i finished my testing with the a7 III and it was a lot of fun honestly it was really cool we went out to the mountains uh went to the event the uh, unveiling and uh, the, the release of the a7 III in dubai in the uae in the region in the area and it was a lot of fun I had a lot of fun with this camera it is a really cool camera i actually tested the battery life on it and it's amazing i'm really happy with it i've actually taken it for an entire day did not have to change the battery at all um, I think I went down to about 20, 25%, 29%, something like that by shooting all day. And uh, this is also shooting uh, photography and video. So that's pretty cool. That's really good. Whereas in the past, I would have to change and charge and get a whole bunch of those little batteries that used to come with, with the uh, A7R2. So uh, it's just changing batteries constantly or the A6500. Again, great cameras, but the battery used to run out a lot. So now, perfect. It lasts all day.
So with S-Log, for an example, if you're shooting an S-Log, you still have to do some tweaking. So the colors are not, they're fantastic, but right out of the box, <clears throat> they still need a, a little bit of editing. So that's one thing to think about, which is not really a big deal, because it's, uh, again, you're in post anyway. You get, it, you get it color graded and you tweak it right where you want it. The, the video is phenomenal. The footage is amazing. The colors really stand out. So that's a huge plus because that's honestly what you're using the camera for is to see what your final work looks like. Now another question is the, uh, the slow motion, the B-roll we like to call. The, does the 100 or 120 uh, frames per second, does it hold up? How, how, does the, how does the 100 or 120 frames work? Well, in all honesty, it works really good. So it did the job. I mean, I, I shot a lot of B-roll with the camera and it did just fine. It was fantastic, you know? Um, so that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. A lot of the footage that you saw was on the a7 III. Right now I'm shooting on the a7 R3, but uh, with the a7 III, you saw the foot, what the footage was like, it was fantastic. And it's fantastic that you could shoot 120 FPS in log or 100 FPS in log. So, I mean, that's pretty good. It gives you the ability to really go further with the video and do a lot more, which, and, which is really cool. So you want, you want to be able to use these options. Another cool thing is the, um, the slow motion is now a dial setting. So that's a really cool thing. So you could always go to slow motion and then you can switch back with just a, a switch of a button. So that's, a, that's very convenient, especially if you're shooting on the fly and you really don't have a lot of time and you don't want to miss a few shots. That comes in really, really handy. Slow motion, switch of a button, that's really cool. The autofocus system is very advanced, highly advanced. When I was using it for vlogging and I was checking, just, just, just messing around with the settings, Using the, uh, I didn't use face detection too much, face detection too much, because uh, I, I know that's an advantage right there, so that's a big plus to have. Face detection, phenomenal, but putting the face detection aside, the autofocus, I found that it, it did hunt a little, uh, especially when I switched over from the native lenses, so when I was using the Sony G Master Series lenses, uh, I felt, I personally felt that it adapted really well and it focused really well. When I switched over to Zeiss, I found that it did go for that hunt a little, but then again, when I played with the settings a little bit more and tweaked it to for, uh, for it kind of just refined itself. It kind of just worked out, so I didn't have a problem again. So I gotta check. I don't know if that was something to do. Maybe it was just a glitch on my part. Okay, another thing, low light. Tested this bad boy in low light and it passed. It did really, really well. Honestly, it was very impressive. I was really impressed. Okay, wrapping it up, my thoughts on this camera. And who's this camera for? What could you do with this camera? Okay, first off, this camera is for weddings, corporate gigs, uh, shooting around, photography, family shoots. Uh, this is a perfect camera for a vlogger. This is a great vlogging camera. I honestly was vlogging with it a lot, so I used it for all vlogging. High dynamic range, um, photography on it is phenomenal. Uh, maybe I'll show you a shot or two towards the end. But uh, it overall, Fantastic camera, and honestly, for the price, I think it's one of the best cameras out there for what you pay for, for what you get. It's pretty amazing. I think it's just around two thousand dollars, right under two thousand uh, dollars, U.S. dollars. That is. So, good job, Sony. They did a really good job with this one. I'm really excited to use it. I'm actually gonna see if I'm gonna make this my full-time vlogging camera. Really thinking about it because I really had a good time shooting with it. But you guys will find out in my vlogs to come when you look in the description below and you see what kind of equipment I use. If you see a7 III, that means that's what I switched over to. So, thank you again for joining me. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do read my comments. Or you can send me a message directly in, on Instagram. There's my Instagram handle right here, TG from Dubai. Send me a message, I will get back to you. I'm very active on social media and I try to respond to everyone's messages. It doesn't always work out in time, but I try my best. Thank you again for following, guys. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell. Every time I put a new video out there, you guys will get notified. And I do giveaways. So I am doing a, a new drone giveaway right now. But to find out, you got to go on Instagram. So you got to make sure you go on Instagram to find out more. Again, thanks again. Appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.